Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. Everybody, welcome once again. How are you? Is everything okay? Did you have a good yes. day? Excellent. Okay, I'm happy yes. to hear that. Today we have Luis Alonso Urias, Rufino Milcar, Francisco Isaac, Luis Enrique, Michelle Escobar. Somebody is connecting right now. Jenny Sanchez, Roberto Tovar. Okay, and some more uh, participants are joining the session. So everybody, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. And here it is. Okay, can you see that? Yes, teacher. Great. Well, again, be welcome. This is Inglés Intermedio Modulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Duñan, at your service. Once again, this is Intermediate 3, Session 4, and today is October the 14th of 2022 or 2022, um, whichever you prefer. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Take a look. So the lesson objectives for today, by the end of this class, you will be able to use the passive without buy, which is what we studied yesterday, but we couldn't finish. We're going to finish today. And uh, also we're going to study uh, past continuous and past simple. So if you remember, uh, well, this is a review, a very short review because we uh, saw this yesterday. We use the passive voice without buy. Again, when the agent is, let's see if you remember. Quiero ver si se acuerdan. Okay, what are the three circumstances uh, in which we use the passive voice without buy? When the agent is, do you remember? Okay, Jenny. When the passive voice without buy is unknown. When it's unknown, correct. Unimportant. Obvious or unimportant, okay. All right, Francisco Isaac wanted to participate. He says, yes, I can see his face. <laughs> okay, good. All right, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, we use the passive voice without buy when the agent is unknown. For example, that same example from yesterday, the wheel was invented over 5,000 years ago. So who invented the wheel? We don't know, it's unknown. Also, when the agent is obvious, two criminals were arrested last night. So who arrested the criminals? The police, right? It's pretty obvious. And number three, we use the passive voice without buy when the agent is unimportant. Like in oranges are imported into Canada every week. So who imports the oranges into Canada? We don't need to know that, okay? It's, it's not necessary for us to understand the whole sentence, okay? So um, I want you to take a look at this. Again, you use the passive voice without buy when the agent is unknown, obvious, or unimportant. Nothing new right there. And some examples, the same we studied yesterday. The active voice is, they sell cold drinks here. So again, the verb is sell, it's in present simple. The subject is they, that's the agent also. And then the object is cold drinks. So we use the, uh, the object from the active sentence and you use it at the beginning and it becomes the new subject of the passive sentence. So cold drinks, then you need to use the verb be in the same verb tense that you identified in the active sentence, and that is present simple. So cold drinks are. After that, you need to use the main verb in past participle form. The verb in past participle, the verb is sell. In past participle form, you have sold. And then you complete it with the rest of the sentence. Cold drinks are sold here. In this case, um, who sells the drinks? is unimportant. We don't need to know that, okay? We are interested in the fact that uh, cold drinks are sold here, okay? That's what's important. Now, who sells the drinks? That's irrelevant, okay? That's why we don't use uh, buy and the agent. Another example is someone painted this office last week, same story, painting is the verb, it's in past simple, someone is the subject and also the agent, and this office is the object. So we use it, and at the beginning of the passive sentence, this office is a new subject, but not the agent. Then you need the verb be in past simple. This office was. After that, you need the main verb in past participle, and the verb is paint. The past participle of paint is painted. It's the same as the past form, 
because it's a regular verb. So this office was painted last week and that's it. Who painted the office? We don't need to know, it's unimportant, okay? We are interested in the fact that the office was painted last week. Who did it is irrelevant. So you had some homework, okay? So we're going to check homework now. Okay, um, let's see. We're going to, uh, I'm going to ask for volunteers. So I want you to raise your hand, your digital hand. Just remember, always raise your hand. Okay, press the bottom. And we're going to do it in order. So Luis is the first one. Can you help me with number one, please? The number one, mm -hmm. uh, many accidents are um, caused by dangerous driving. That is correct. Okay, many accidents are caused by dangerous driving. Very good, Luis. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Rufino Amilcar wants to participate. What about number two? Uh, cheese is, is made from milk. Cheese is made from milk. Very good. Okay, yeah, that's the answer. Very nice. You have a different background today. You have the mountains now. <laughs> Not not uh, the continents. Now you have the mountains. Okay, very good. I saw somebody else wanted to participate. I think it was Estela. Estela uh, raised her hand. So Estela, do you want to take on number three? Yeah, or is it... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> time out, time out, time out. Okay. <laughs> uh, Roberto Tovar, okay, is, is participating right here. Can you repeat it, Roberto, please? Okay, teacher, but, you know, uh, mm -hmm. el techo del edificio construyó. Uh -huh. Ah, no sé cuál es, teacher, sorry. Ah, no, no problem, no problem. Eh, pensé que quería participar porque le escuché ahí. No, 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 estaba escuchando. Ah, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I got confused. No. <laughs> okay, um, so Estela, maybe? No. Or, okay, Francisco Isaac, then number three. Uh, Francisco Isaac. No? Okay, uh, well, uh, we have Luis again, wants to participate, and then Rufino Amilcar. So, uh, Luis, please. Number three. Yes, please. The roof of the building was the magic in the storm many years ago. Many days ago. Days ago. <laughs> okay, days it's ago. okay, it's okay. The roof of the building was damaged in a storm exactly. many days ago. Okay, very good. So we go with uh, Rufino Amilcar for number four and Griselda Mendoza for number five. Okay, so Amilcar, what about number four? Yes, four. Yes. You, you were invited to the wedding. Why didn't you go? Correct. You were invited to the wedding. Why didn't you go? Very good. So Griselda takes number five and Michelle number six. Uh, cinema is a place where films are showing. Show okay. But it's a place where films are shown. Uh -huh. Voy a explicar algo sobre ese verbo, por cierto. Let's see, where is my notepad here? Okay. The verb show is special, a little bit special, because you have the base form show, and then the past form is showed with a D. So naturally you think, ah, this is a regular verb. And people think then, okay, then that means the past participle is also showed. But in reality, this is not correct. The past participle is shown. The verb show is irregular. Pero se entiende que a veces nos confundamos un poco porque si vemos la forma en pasado, parecería que es un verbo regular. Entonces, ahí nos vamos, como decimos en buen salvadoreño, en la chicahuita. Entonces, like grow. sería, aha, like grown, okay? So you have shown. That's the past participle. So yeah, a cinema is a place where films are shown, 
Ok, solo ese detalle. Por lo demás, todo bien. Thank you, Griselda. Uh, Michelle Escobar, please, number six. In the United States, election for president are held every four years. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. In the United States, elections for president are held every four years. We have a chat entry here. Ah, okay. Stella, Stella sent some messages. Okay. No problem. Um, let's see. Stella, Stella wants to participate now. Number seven. Personally, the book is the last name in Spanish a few years ago. Mm -hmm. A few years ago? It has two parts. Um, it's right. Okay. Into English. Into English. Mm, not exactly. I think it's the other way around. It's al revés. Veamos. Originally, the book. Uh, let's see. Is Imelda. reading. Uh -huh. is, is written in Spanish. Aha. Uh -huh. But when you talk um, about a book, it should be in the past, not the present. Porque ya lo escribieron el libro. Entonces, originally the book was written, was written in Spanish um, a few years ago. A few yeah. years ago? It's Huh? Just like mm -hmm. into English. It was, it was translated, translated into English. Okay, yeah, that's the way it goes. Originally, the book was written in Spanish, and a few years ago, it was translated into English. Originalmente, el libro fue escrito en español, y unos años después, o hace unos años, verdad, fue traducido al inglés. Okay, so that's that's the meaning of it. So thank you, Stella. I saw Imelda. Did you want to participate? Yeah. Um, okay. The old opera building was demolished three months ago. Correct. Very good. The old opera building was demolished three months ago. Great. And the last one, antibiotics. Francisco Isaac. Yes. Uh, Antibiotics were discovered in 1928. Yeah, antibiotics were discovered in 1928. Correct. Very good. Okay, everybody, thank you. Okay, for your participation and also thank you for doing your homework. Okay, a veces tenemos algunos errores, pero es lo más normal del mundo. Y equivocarse no es malo después de todo, porque si aprendemos del error, Entonces, siempre hay ganancia, ¿verdad? Eso sí, hay que tratar de no equivocarse, por supuesto. <laughs> Pero si nos equivocamos, siempre tenemos oportunidad de aprender de todas maneras. So, um, let's continue. We have another exercise here. What are you going to do? Breakout rooms, okay? I'm going to send you into the breakout rooms. We have 16 people, so four, four rooms of so four people. So uh, change the active sentences into passive sentences. Okay, so what are you going to do here? You're going to do this process, just like this. Someone painted this office last week. This is active, you change it to passive. And you say, this office was painted last week. Eso es lo que quiero que hagan con estas oraciones. Las pasan de activas a pasivas, según el método que hemos aprendido. So um, again, here. So change the active sentences into passive sentences, okay? In some occasions, take a look. For example, the first one, it's negative, okay? If the sentence is negative, that means that the verb be is negative, okay? Very important. Si ustedes ven que el verbo, en la, el verbo principal de la oración activa es negativo, entonces significa que a la hora de convertirlo a passive voice, el verb be también va a ser negativo. Así que tienen que fijarse en el tiempo del verbo y también si es afirmativo o si es negativo. So, um, I'm going to form the break of rooms now. Where are they? Right here. Okay, we have 16 people connected, so four. Room one, 
We have Gladys Campos, Luis Alonso Urias, Michelle Escobar, and Roberto Tovar. Room two, Alejandra Magaña, Imelda Sánchez, Luis Enríquez, and Olivia Osorio. Room three, Estela Lara, Griselda Mendoza de Mejía, Morena Medina, and Sonia Guadalupe Pérez. And in room four, Francisco Isaac, Paola Maria, Rufino Amilcar, and Jenny Sánchez. So I'm going to open the breaker rooms now and I'm going to send this via WhatsApp. Híjole, ya sabía yo que algo se me había olvidado, no había abierto WhatsApp en la computadora. Bueno, igual, se lo voy a mandar. Antes de entrar a los breaker rooms, de todas toda formas va a quedar en la pantalla. Así que ahí vamos. Okay, everybody, uh, the exercise is in the chat on WhatsApp. Okay, so you can you can check your WhatsApp now. And I'm going to enter the break of room, so I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Deliver the email on Sunday. El verbo, el verbo es, el mail es el verbo, de ahí es el subject, el, I don't deliver, el correo, correo es el object. Mm -hmm. The mail, that's the object. The object. And what about the verb? Um, el subject sería... The subject is they. And what es, about the verb? Es. Deliver. Mm -hmm. Deliver. But it, it's in negative form. Don't deliver. Okay. So they don't deliver the mail on Sundays. So uh, let's see. Working together, right? What the mail aren't delivered. Aren't delivered. Um, the thing with the mail is that you don't use R because it's not plural. So the mail isn't. Isn't. Uh huh. The mail isn't delivered. Isn't delivered. It's an. Mm -hmm. The mail isn't delivered on Sunday. On Sundays. On Correct. Sunday. That's the form. The mail isn't delivered on Sundays. That's right. Very good. Okay, uh, let's continue. Yes. Uh, remember, work together, uh, uh, not individually. <laughs> okay, and uh, I'm going to go into a different room now. Okay, see you in a few minutes. The The mail is not delivered on Sunday. Uh -huh. Yeah. Correct. Very good. What about the second one? The second one, the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. No, where held? If you notice, the verb is in present simple form. So you need yeah, to yeah. use. Uh -huh. 
So the Olympic Games are. Uh -huh. I don't remember the past participle of hold. What is the past participle of hold? Held. Held. That's held. right. Held. Mm -hmm. Every four well, years. Olympic Games. Every right? four years. Uh -huh. The Olympic Games are held every four years. That is correct. Very good. Okay, let's continue. And I'm going to visit a different room. See you in a few minutes. Okay. No, it's they. They hold, hold the, the Olympic Games every four years. Entonces, el verbo es hold y hay que pas al pasado, participio. Celebran los Juegos Olímpicos. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Celebran los Juegos. Entonces, Celebran. estamos hablando de los Juegos Olímpicos. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces vamos a iniciar con The Olympic Games. Uh -huh. The Olympic Games. Vamos a poner el pasado de Hold, que no me lo puedo. Pero oh. sería el past participle. Yes. Yeah. Pero past antes participle. de eso va el verbi. Verbi. Uh -huh. Where. Uh -huh. uh, uh, como es they, es are o where. Uh -huh. Ay, perdón. Pero tenemos eh. que ver el verbo. El verbo está en present simple. Present. Por lo ajá. tanto, el verbo tiene que ir. Ajá. The Olympic ajá. Games are. 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 Este, este estaba, estaba en la tarea. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. The It's Olympic held. Games are held. held. Correct. Held. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The Olympic Games are held. And then? Every four Every years. years. Every, four. Every four years. That's right. Every... The Olympic Games are held oh. every four years. That's good. Okay. Number three. Ah, <laughs> Thank vamos you, a ver, number three. Vamos Thank a ver. You. You're the welcome. Ball. They, they produce the first Volkswagen B. Beatles. B. Uh, the bird the is produced. The first ball. Ball. <laughs> El subject is they. Por lo tanto, es. Eh, debe ser R. <laughs> Depende, solo acuérdense siempre que tiene que ver con este pasado. el tiempo, ajá, como está en pasado, entonces no puede ser R. It was. But it's a plural now. The first Volkswagen, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh -huh. Entonces, the first, me dio mareado. the first Volkswagen. Uh -huh. The first Volkswagen Beetles. Okay. Sorry? Where? Where? Produce. In. We're produced. Produce. In. Mm -hmm. Produce. By. Nineteen thirty-seven. The first Volkswagen Beetles were produced in nineteen thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. That's the point. I'm sorry for No problem. No problem. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, visit a different room now. So see you in a few minutes.
Have you finished the exercise? Casi, casi. Not yet. Ah. Not, not, yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay. Okay. Um... In hey, 1937. What is the what is the name of the The forest, the cell, the they sell souvenirs at all popular tourist places. ¿Cómo sería? El sal Solvernes. Tú displays lugares turísticos populares. Oh. Solvernes. Uh, Solvernes at all popular uh, popular uh, where sold where sold or these places not not really well let's let's go one uh, step by step so first you have to identify the verb what's the verb sell sell correct so the subject souvenirs that's the object. They. The Public subject is they. Ah, the subject they. is they. So you say uh -huh. they sell what? Souvenirs. Souvenirs. That's the object. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They okay. sell souvenirs. So now you take the object and you put it at the beginning and it's the new subject. So you have souvenir so, uh -huh. are. are correct. Tiene que ser are porque mm -hmm. en la oración original activa ah. dice they sell, está en presente. Por lo tanto, el verb be también es va en presente. Es present simple. Present mm -hmm. simple. So, yeah. souvenirs are? Mm -hmm. I don't know the mm -hmm. past. Of past participle. What's the past participle of sell? Sold. 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 Mm -hmm. Sold. Is the pe the, 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 sorry, it's the same as the past form. So, they... Sold. Mm -hmm. Sell souvenirs becomes souvenirs are sold. At all popular tourist places. Yes, at all popular tourist places. Correct? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. the, the last one is the ma they make scotch whiskey in Scotland. Um, A subject is they, right? Mm -hmm. Object, object, scotch, a scotch whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, a scotch whiskey um, Are made. was, uh, no, uh, uh, is, no. Yes, is. Is, 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 mm -hmm. is, is, ma is, ma is made, is made in Scotland. It's made in Scotland, okay. Scotch whiskey okay. is made in Scotland. Así in es. Scotland. Cuando ustedes okay. ven que los productos los ven atrás y dice made in China. Eso es passive mm -hmm. voice también. Hecho en China. Es made in China. Mm -hmm. The product was okay. made in China. So, lo mismo queda acá parecido, ¿verdad? Scotch whiskey is made in Scotland. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going Thank to you. close the breakout rooms now. See you in a few minutes. Yeah. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. Um, see you in one minute.
Okay. Is everybody here? Almost everybody, 15 people. Couple more people are missing, I believe. Okay, let's start. So um, here's your turn. Can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes. Great. So what about the first one? They don't deliver the mail on Sundays. I need a volunteer who wants to participate. Olivia. The, the mail is not delivered on Sunday. Good. The mail is not delivered on Sundays or the short form, the mail isn't delivered on Sundays. Very good. Thank you, Olivia. Now, Michelle Escobar, please. They hold the Olympic Games every four years. The Olympic Games are held every four years. The Olympic Games are held every four years. That is correct. Thank you, Michelle. Good. Um, I need another volunteer for number three. Francisco Isaac, please. They produced the first Volkswagen they Beetles in 1937. Yes, and um, the first Volkswagen was produced in 1937. But there is a problem because it's not the first Volkswagen, but the Volkswagen first Volkswagen Beetle. Beetles, plural. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The first Volkswagen Beetle um, was it? No. The first Volkswagen Beetles were? Where? Were produced in 19... That's right. The first Volkswagen Beetles were produced in 1937. That's right. Good. Thank you, Francisco. Um, what about number four? Volunteers, please. Jenny, they sell souvenirs at all popular tourist places. Souvenirs are sold all at, at all popular tourist places. Good. Souvenirs are sold at all popular tourist places. Very good. All right. Um, thank you, Jenny. And the last one, please. Who wants to try? Déjenme escucharlos. Hay gente que no le conozco la voz acá. Solo veo las caras, pero no les conozco la voz. Uh -huh. Let's participate. Vamos, siempre me participan los mismos. Okay, uh, Alejandra, Luis, you go for the next exercise, I promise. Okay, Alejandra, please. Okay. They make Scott whiskey, whiskey, I'm sorry, in Scotland. Scott whiskey is made in Scotland. Scotch whiskey is made in Scotland. That is correct. Thank you, Alejandra. Very good. All right. Estela is sending us a message. Okay, let's read. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. <laughs> Ooh. All right, and a smiley. <laughs> so, um, well, with that, we finished the topic on the passive voice, okay? You have learned how to use the passive voice with by and the passive voice without by, okay? And now we have to go into the next section and there is a new lesson objective. So by the end of this class, you will be able to... Ah, sorry, uh, Milkar, do you have a uh, question? Uh, only para reafirmar el conocimiento. Claro. And, uh, and, um, and uh, all, uh, always one point, <laughs> I, I saw example this uh, the president opened the building in 1931 mm -hmm. in, in passive uh, the change uh, the building for it it was opened by the president in 1931 uh, mm -hmm. 
only reafirmar el, eh, aquí este, eh, este ejemplo que no lo vi que se hiciera eh, en lo que hemos eh, ah, bueno, estado. No hay problema. Es lo mismo, solamente, vamos a ver, mm -hmm. the president, eh, ¿cuál era la oración? Opened, ¿verdad? Opened the building in 1931. Opened uh, the building in uh -huh. 1941. 30, 31. 30, 31, ok, 1931. 31. Ok, mm -hmm. so the president opened the building in 1931. Ah, este es el ejemplo que aparece en el video, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ajá, ok. Entonces tenemos, the president opened the building in 1931. Ok, no problem. So first we need to identify the verb. The verb is opened. And the verb opened is in past. That means we have to use the verb being past. Then the subject. Mm -hmm. The subject is the president. And it's also the agent. Mm -hmm. And after that you say the president opened what? The answer is the building. That means mm -hmm. this is the object in 1931. So uh, we know that we have to take this, which is the object from the active sentence, and we use it at the beginning. So we have the building. After that, you need the verb be in past simple, because this is the same verb tense from the active sentence. So you say the building was, and then the main yes. verb in past participle, which is open, And then you finish with the rest of the sentence in 1931. Pero la duda es, ¿por qué en vez de decir the building, decimos it? it. Pues, simplemente porque para eso sirven los pronouns. Para no repetir las cosas o para sustituir algo que ya mencionamos previamente. Entonces, sabemos que utilizamos el subject pronoun it para cosas, vamos a poner en inglés, things, ok, entonces podemos decir the building, en vez de decir the building decimos it, y queda lo mismo, mm -hmm. it was opened in 1931, podemos ocuparlo de esta forma también, es decir, two forms is correct, are correct. Mm -hmm. both two forms are correct, okay. mm -hmm. okay. así es, pero hay que tener cuidado porque si usted comienza, le dice a alguien, Así de la nada, ¿verdad? It was opened in 1931. La gente le va a preguntar. What? ¿De qué estás hablando? Uh -huh. So you have to be careful. Siempre ocupamos okay. los pronouns uh, sabiendo, bueno, en, en el conocimiento de que la persona con la que estamos hablando, ajá, ya sabe de qué estamos hablando. Así sería. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. So um, here we go. So the lesson objective is, it's 8.40 now. Wow, time flies. By the end of this class, you will be able to use the past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another, act, by another completed action. So it's lesson objective. So um, in uh, that's lesson objective 2.0. So this is from section two, okay? This is a timeline. You will find this in the video explained by Ms. Jessica in the section 2.1, which is past continuous versus past simple. So I want you to watch this at home, everybody. Watch it at home. And right now we're going to, you know, expand on the knowledge. We're going to elaborate a little bit more. This is also in the video, past continuous versus simple past. Very good explanation, but we have to produce a little bit more. And this is the material that I have for you. So we use the past simple, okay, for complete actions in the past. Complete actions. So I ask you, what did you do last weekend? And maybe you will tell me things like, I went to the movies. Okay, past simple, I went to the movies. Maybe somebody else will tell me, I played tennis. Again, that's past simple. It's a complete action in the past. You finished. Maybe you will tell me, I read a book. Okay, that's simple again. You say, I cleaned 
the windows. That's simple for a complete action. I went to a concert. Or simply, I stayed home. Okay. So if you notice right here, all the actions are complete. All of them are complete. Now, if I ask you, what did you do last weekend? What can you tell me? What did you do last weekend? Using past simple. Mm -hmm. Ya ni se acuerdan. <laughs> I was uh, I worked. I worked. Okay, you say I worked. I worked on Saturday in the, in the morning. Okay, I worked on Saturday morning. Very mm -hmm. good. Alejandra wants to participate also Estela. So Alejandra? I went to church. The church. I went to church. Okay, very good. Estela? I watched a movie on Saturday. All Saturday. Oh my God. So you say, I watched movies all Saturday. Okay, good. Imelda. I worked Sunday all day and. I worked uh, Sunday. Saturday, Saturday uh -huh. all day. So you worked and... on Saturday and Sunday all day? No. Sunday, Only Saturday. Sunday at middle. Uh, at... Ah, hasta mediodía. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. So you can say. I went to shopping. I went shopping. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can say, I worked all Saturday and Sunday morning. After that, yeah. I okay. went shopping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So those are examples of the past simple. And we use the past simple for complete actions in the past. Okay, these actions began and finished. Okay, but what about this? We have the structure of the past simple. There is the affirmative form. For the affirmative form, you need a subject and a verb in past. Okay, like Abraham worked in this company. Ya no trabaja ahí, pero ahí trabajó, ¿verdad? So Abraham worked in this company. My friends went to Mexico last month. So let's take a look. Worked. This is a verb in past. It's a regular verb. Went is another verb in past, but this is irregular. Now, what about the negative form? For the negative form, you need the subject. You need to use the auxiliary and the particle not, so you get didn't didn't and after that you have to use the verb in base form okay you have to use the verb in base form so what is the negative uh, version of this sentence abraham worked in this company how do you say this but in negative form didn't work in this company. Abraham didn't work in this company. Okay, that's good. Abraham didn't work in this company. Thank you, Francisco. But now if you notice, and you have to be very careful with this, everybody, is that the verb is not in past form anymore. It's in base form, okay? Because the auxiliary, it's in past. What about the second sentence? My friends went to Mexico last month. What's the negative form? Who wants to try? My friends didn't, didn't go. My friends didn't go to Mexico last month. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Amilcar. My friends didn't go to Mexico last month. Good. And uh, again, right, the verb is in base form. In affirmative sentences, it's in past. But in negative sentences, it's in base form. Now, something similar happens in the questions. Question form, you have to use did plus the subject 
plus the verb in base form, and you finish with a question mark. Okay, so um, what is the question form? The sentence is, Abraham worked in this company. How do you ask a question? Mm -hmm. What is the question version of this? Okay, uh, Jenny and then Alejandra. Okay, Jenny. Did Abraham work in this company? That is correct. Did Abraham work in this company? Thank you. Very good. And uh, my friends went to Mexico last month. Alejandra. Yeah, then my friends go to Mexico last month. Good. Solo vamos a cambiar una cosa acá. Vamos a decir your friends para que no parezca que uno se está preguntando a uno mismo, ¿verdad? Pero la estructura está bien. Did your friends go to Mexico last month? Very good. Thank you, Alejandra. And that's the form, okay? Now, something that I want you to notice, be very careful here. Solo en las oraciones afirmativas vamos a ocupar el verbo en pasado. En las negativas y en las preguntas, el verbo va en forma base. Siempre, siempre. ¿Ok? Así que mucho cuidado ahí. Algo que es muy bueno y muy conveniente acerca del past simple es que no tiene formas especiales con he, she, ni con it. Así que podemos decir Abraham, que es he worked. No tiene una forma especial porque es he. De acuerdo. Así que es algo bueno del past simple. No hay que preocuparse porque sea he, she, it. Ah, ese es distinto. No, 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 no. Es igual para todos. Ok. Lo mismo en la forma negativa y en la pregunta. No es como en present simple que ocupamos do y does con he, she, it. Aquí no. Es parejo, digámoslo así. En la negativa ocupamos didn't. In the question form, did. And the verb in base form. So. Time is it? 8.49. Okay, we still have like 12 minutes. So we use the past continuous. This is a different verb tense. For incomplete, ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. How does it work? Take a look. What were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Now look, what were you doing? Last Saturday at 8 a.m. Al principio dijimos, what did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? Estamos hablando de una acción que ya está completa. Pero en este caso decimos, what were you doing? ¿Qué estabas haciendo a una hora específica? O sea que la acción no había terminado. Esa acción estaba en progreso en ese momento. So this person says, at 10, I was walking the dog. What about this lady? She said, I was working at the office. And this man said, I was doing exercise. Now I have a question for you. What were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping. Okay, good. Good, good. Lo envidio. <laughs> I was working. Okay. It's the only, only time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, perfect. Perfect. I was watching movies. I was watching? Movies. Movies. Ah, yeah. You told us that you watch movies all Saturday. Okay. So I was watching a movie. Okay. Um, Estela, what movie were you watching on Saturday at 10 a.m.? Thor. Thor. Which one? There are four Thor movies. I'm sorry? I don't know because my boyfriend and mm -hmm. uh, Okay. So Los Minions. Okay. <laughs> okay, but specifically at, at 10 a.m. you were watching Thor, the Thor movie. 
Okay, so probably the Minions movies. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hizo maratón ahí el, el, el sábado, maratón de películas. Okay, yes. uh, someone else, what were you doing on Saturday, last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Luis said he was sleeping. Estela, she was watching a movie. And the rest, what were you doing? I was working. working. I was working, says Samilcar. Luis. Yes. I was in the bank. Aha, uh -huh. but what were you doing? Porque... I was paying. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Mire. Okay, I was paying. Okay, great. Good. Let's see Alejandra, then Sonia, and then Morena, and then Jenny. Okay. And then Paola. Oh, everybody wants to participate. Very good. Okay, Alejandra, what were you doing? I was doing homework. I was doing homework. Good. Sonia, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? I was cooking a lunch. I was cooking lunch. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you. Morena? I was, I was working in the office. I was working at the office. Emergency. My As an emergency, really? Okay, yes. okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Jenny, what were you doing? I was buying in the supermarket. Okay, I was buying uh, groceries at the, at the supermarket or I was shopping, you can say. Good, very good. Uh, Paola? I was visiting my family. I was visiting my family, very good. Imelda? I was printing somebody homework. <laughs> I was printing somebody's homework. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's good. I was teaching a class on Saturday morning. I am always teaching a class all the time. <laughs> so um, what's next? Very good. We have six minutes, so we, we need to hurry a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So uh, past continuous. This is the structure of past continuous. So first you have the affirmative form. The affirmative form uses the subject like Susan. After that, you have to use was or were. Aquí sí tenemos un problema. Aquí sí depende del sujeto que estamos ocupando, si va a ser was or was or were. Okay, so when do we use was? Let's see, who knows the answer? When do we use was? When it's when it is he, she, or it, good, but she. one is missing. Falta uno ahí. So yet I. Correct. Also I. If the subject is I, he, she, or it, then we use was. If the subject is you, we, or they, then we use where. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. Very good. In este caso, Susan is she. Por lo tanto, Susan was. Wow. And then the verb in ing. Oh. Susan was watching okay. TV. The Susan kids. The kids is the equivalent of ellos. they. Uh -huh. They, correct. So they were playing baseball. They, baseball. Okay. okay, good. So what's the negative form? The negative form uses the subject then the negative of the verb be, which is wasn't or weren't, and then the verb in ing. Ahora, algo que quiero que se fijen bien es que con el past continuous, aquí sí se mantiene el verbo siempre en la misma forma, no importa que sea negativa o pregunta, el verbo principal siempre va en ing. A diferencia del past simple, en que el verbo va en pasado solo en afirmativas y luego va en forma base en negativas y preguntas. Pero en past continuous, El verbo siempre va a ir en ing, independientemente si es afirmativa, si es negativa o si es pregunta. So the negative form uses the subject plus wasn't or weren't and then the verb in ing. So if you say Susan was watching TV, what is the negative form? Volunteer, please. Raise your hand, raise your hand, please. Okay, Susan Stella. Susan wasn't watching TV. Susan wasn't watching TV. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. And Jenny wanted to participate too. 
the second sentence goes, the kids were playing baseball. What is the negative form, Jenny? The kids weren't playing baseball. That is correct. The kids weren't playing baseball. Very good. Very good. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> what about the, <clears throat> sorry, what about the question form? In the question form, the auxiliary, which is the verb be, and the subject change places. Okay. So we begin with was or where, then we continue with the subject and we finish with a verb in ing and anything else that is necessary and a question mark. So if the sentence is Susan was watching TV, what is the question form? Imelda and then Stella. Was Susan watching TV? Was Susan watching TV? That is correct. Very good. Was Susan watching TV? And uh, Stella, you have the kids who are playing baseball. Were the kids playing basketball? Uh, baseball. Baseball. Uh -huh. Were the kids playing baseball? That's right. That's the question yes. form. All right. So uh, before we continue, do you have any questions about the use of the past simple or past continuous? No, teacher. No questions at all. No questions. Okay. All right. We only have three minutes. There's an exercise, but I think you're going to take it as homework. Se van a dar de tareita, quizás. Bueno, ya que fin de semana, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero no, no sé. No, prefiero más bien que se queden trabajando en en la plataforma para no recargarlos mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a hacer un pequeño, pequeño repaso. Todos de acuerdo. Ok, de nuevo, ¿verdad? Nos quedan un par de minutos, así que tenemos que aprovecharlos. Remember, very important. We use the past simple for complete actions in the past. So, what did you do last weekend? Um, you say, I went to the movies, I played tennis, I read a book, I cleaned the windows, I went to a concert, I stayed home. Todas estas actividades comenzaron y terminaron. Por ejemplo, tenemos Estela, dijo que vio películas todo el sábado. Entonces, comenzó la película y la terminó. Comenzó la película y la terminó. Y así se echó la maratón, ¿verdad? Entonces, she watched movies. She watched a lot of movies, okay? Five, six, seven movies, I don't know. <laughs> but she finished, okay? So she began and she finished. Those are complete actions in the past. But what happens with the past continuous? Yeah, Morena. Una consulta. ¿Cómo uso el verbo si yo quiero decir quiero café? I want. And, uh -huh, I want coffee. Pero I si me dice coffee. quiero café, eso está en presente. Uh -huh, I want, pero siempre lo ocupo ahí. Bueno. Pero tendría que utilizarlo en pasado. Vamos a ver. Decimos, I want coffee. That's present. Okay. Uh -huh. And if you want to use it in past, you say, I want it. Y di. Uh -huh. Coffee. Uh -huh. No leo. Uh, you can say wanted, wanted, I wanted, I wanted, wanted coffee. coffee. Y si quieres ser así como, como en Inglaterra, I wanted coffee. I wanted coffee. Ah, Ahí digo quiero café. Quería café. Ah, quería café. Uh, mm -hmm. well, el pasado. Well, pueden, ok. I wanted coffee. Si Gracias, que, si, Ajá. Si quiere decir que quiere café, entonces el primero. I want coffee. I want coffee. Ok. Mm -hmm. A todos le dieron ganas de un café ahorita. Okay. So, um, again, right, we use the past continuous for incomplete, ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. Ahora, estas acciones no estaban completas. Estaban en proceso. No habían terminado. Por eso se le pregunta acá, what were you doing okay. last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Justo a las 10, justo en ese momento, ¿qué estaba haciendo? I was walking the dog. No había terminado, todavía estaba ahí en la calle con el perro, ¿verdad? So I was walking the dog. I was working at the office. Lo más seguro es que terminó tipo a las 12, 12 y media. Así que en ese momento estaba en progreso la actividad. 
I was doing exercise. Ok. Ahí se estaba haciendo la repetición 50 de 100. Entonces, faltaba. Todavía no había terminado. So, I was doing exercise. And that's the idea. Ok. We use the past continuous for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. Ok, everybody. We're about to finish. I just, uh, let's see. Vamos a ver acá, continuar con el curso. Ya a estas alturas, toda la sección 1 tendría que estar completa, ¿verdad? Todo hasta acá, ¿verdad? Todo el knowledge check, lesson objective. Quiero ver hasta el reading exercise. Ahorita vamos comenzando ya con ubicar acá y ahora aquí. Quiero ver. Give me a second, please. Ok. So. Uh, okay, you have a 2.0, please complete that. Let's go full screen. Then past continuous versus past simple. Okay, or simple past. Please everybody watch the video. And then there is the knowledge check, okay? Por favor, hasta acá. Eh, me gustaría que ya estuviese trabajado hasta el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Luego vamos a continuar ya el día lunes. Uh, useful adverse for telling stories. Okay, everybody. Thank you. And uh, I hope you have a great weekend. You too. I will see you on Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Monday. Thank you. Take good care. Good night. See you on Monday. Good, good night. night. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Happy weekend. You too.